Electronics manufacturers have to protect components from electrostatic discharge, or ESD. ESD is caused when an electrical charge builds up on an object or person, typically due to friction between two different materials, such as your shoes on a carpet. When you approach a conducting object, that buildup of electrical charge can be discharged in a sudden flow of electricity. It's enough to damage many components, even if it's too small for you to feel, hear, or see. There's a lot of techniques we can use to mitigate this issue. When choosing a contract manufacturer, you should verify that they use redundant layers of protection and monitor their effectiveness. First is controlling humidity. Humid air is more conductive than dry air. Keeping the air at 30% relative humidity allows electrostatic charge to dissipate harmlessly into the air rather than building up on people or surfaces. Any electrostatic charge that does build up must be conducted safely to the ground. There should be conductive flooring throughout the facility. In this case, a concrete floor with a conductive wax. Anti-fatigue mats need to be conductive and properly grounded. Regular industrial mats don't meet this requirement. Employees should wear ESD shoes or heel straps on both feet to ensure constant contact with the conductive flooring. Wires inside the heel straps drain off any charge the wearer picks up. Heel straps wear out and need to be tested regularly. At Z-axis, all manufacturing employees test twice per shift. Workbenches can be covered with a static dissipative mat tied to the ground. This bleeds off any excess charge that accumulates on objects moved around manufacturing. Some companies use wrist grounding straps instead of mats. The straps are less convenient in high mix manufacturing settings where workers move about the facility during the day. Chairs should have conductive casters. Roller carts should be made of metal or special conductive plastic. A hanging strap grounds them to the floor so they can't build up excess charge. In shipping, it's best to use all new packaging materials that are known to be anti-static. Regular styrofoam materials can induce a static charge on components even without direct contact. Here, we use an anti-static bubble wrap, pads, and custom-formed ESD safe trays. Regular inspection and testing of ESD protection measures is essential. At Z-axis, we routinely inspect all aspects of manufacturing and perform a full ESD audit once a quarter. In this audit, we follow the product flow through the facility, from receiving materials to shipping finished assemblies, looking at all potential sources of static and verifying they are effectively controlled. We can also use our knowledge to do an ESD audit on our customers' facilities on request, at no charge. Our ESD practices are based on IPCA 610 and J Standard 001 for electronic assembly, along with our own knowledge of electronics. When evaluating your contract manufacturer's ESD protection, keep in mind that much has been published about ESD protection that just isn't true, often by companies trying to sell unnecessary items. For example, you probably don't need conductive trash cans to protect your scrap from ESD damage. At Z-axis, we work with a lot of very sensitive parts, but have a zero ESD damage rate because of our redundant layers of protection. Contact us to learn more about this and other challenges in electronics manufacturing.